Amen. 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 Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So glad to be with you. Uh, it is an anniversary this week, and we are celebrating with you. Uh, this is one year anniversary of being here at the center. Yeah. We've been here one full year. All right. Uh, All right. It's, it's been amazing. It's been so amazing being here with you, uh, ministering with you, and so we're just grateful. And I want to share with you uh, some highlights and, and stats and also hopefully have you participate in something that we can look at this time next year, Lord willing. But I want to read a verse of scripture from 1 Corinthians chapter 3, verse 6 and 7. And the Bible says, I have planted Apollos water, but God gave the increase. Yes. So then neither is he that planted anything, neither he that watereth, but God that giveth the increase. And that's what we want to praise God for and talk to us about and share with you about. God gave the increase. Yes. Regardless of who may have planted or who have watered, ultimately it is God that has gave the increase, the abundance, the growth, the maturity, and all that he uses Harvest Ministries and the team for. Yes. And in one year, a retrospect of simply looking back of our time here at the center that I want to share with you. In the beginning, the very first service that we had, we had a whole total of nine. There was nine. We're thankful for tonight for the 20 that we have and are able, or I think 24 because i got one more seat left as well. But nine. And so our first service was June the 6th of 2022. And we have, as you can see, have increased in our numbers. And our attendance is varying through the weeks as well. And so let me just get my folks here that like to watch us and follow us. As you can see, the Lord has blessed us uh, in our attendance with that. And we are pleased to report that in the 52 weeks of service, we have not canceled we might not have been there. Remember, I was in the hospital for 11 days. I've been really battling some different sicknesses as I was walking through and checking this. But can I tell you, in the 52 weeks that we have been here with you, we have served over 2,014 meals Amen. out of this center in one year. Amen. And that's roughly. Because there were some weeks we didn't you know, necessarily keep count, but I realized the importance of doing that. So that's averaging when I split that number up of roughly 38 a week. Because what we don't serve here, we take, uh, we were taken to the shelter, but now we're ministering over to the hotel there at American Eagle Inn. So can we say God gave the increase and yeah. in what he blessed us to do just out of this facility in one year? We have expanded in our team. You'll see some new faces from last year to this year. Uh, the numbers in our harvest team, and because we have expanded, uh, it's allowed us to start an outreach program uh, on Tuesdays for the critical documentation that you heard James speak about and many others that we've assisted and helped with. Uh, just that, that started in February, so that's been 90 days. But we want to say thank you to Allison back there. She heads it up. She's managing it. And she also has the help here of Brother Bernie and Ed and Sister Deb back there. So we're very grateful. Very grateful. I think Sister Patty might have came. Did you come? Anybody that might have come, but in the beginning. But can we say God has God. gave the increase? Yes, He did. For what we were able to do in just a year's time. We've been able to pass out or even let you pack at different times hygiene bags. Hundreds of bags have been passed out to you. Can we say God has gave the increase there? God gave the increase. To my knowledge, last week we were blessed with a hundred more bags. Yeah. Uh, that's what we're blessing you with. Uh, Miss Zoe, uh, our little young lady that helps us out. Uh, her mom, she's the real tall lady. Uh, they packed it. Their Sunday school had come together and raised funds. And they had enough money to pack us a hundred bags. They wrote you 
very encouraging cards in those uh, packs as well. So we are very grateful for that. Also looking at, we have prayed for, we have prayed hundreds of times, either for you or with you. Yes. And in that situation, I went back and I try to keep along the best I can. We have helped 27 people this past year pray through to salvation. Amen. That is something to praise God for. That's right. Where they at in their walk, that's not, you know, that we hope that we're here to help them. We hope that we're here to encourage them and to strengthen them. But we know that 27 of you have made a confession that you have asked God to come into your yeah. heart. That is truly God giving the increase because he's breaking down the barriers. There have been times that we were out there in the parking lot and even behind the car wash. And it seemed like it was just kind of ricocheting off. It seemed like it was, it was just bouncing off. But hearts have been tendered and hearts have been touched and hearts have been blessed. And they wanted to know about this man Jesus yeah. and what we have displayed to them. Amen. So God truly has gave the increase. My hope is that God will continue to increase our services and our helps in this upcoming year. I don't know what he's got in store, but I'm hoping to do more. We are currently planning our first fundraiser to start increasing our funds so that we can have the money to go in and be able to negotiate for property. So we have that set for uh, August the 18th, our first fundraiser. Brother Bernie is heading that up. He is leading up Brother Jackson. They've already got us uh, our five cases of Boston Butts to do the bar uh, barbecue, barbecue plates donated. He is wonderfully storing them for us. And we also have a location that we can do uh, a drive through basically pick up, because we're doing pre-sale tickets over at the um, Adam, Street, Adam Street Church of God. Uh, so we're very grateful they're letting us use their church and their parking lot. So praise God. He That's is right. giving the increase of right. in what he is doing for us. So we are excited. Check with us August the 19th. I'm sure <laughs> we're going to look wore out, but I'm excited about it. It's our first fundraiser. And so, again, we need to get funds that we can negotiate when we find that property that God right. wants us uh, to to have our own. Amen. Yes. We're very thankful for what we do have. <laughs> and so now I'm, I'm turning it to you, my family. I've got some pens and paper here. And I want you to have a goal for next year. And I don't have that many pens, so if we can find up some pens, that will work. Christy and maybe... Uh, Allison, those that want to participate in this, and I want you to get connected first and foremost with God, okay? And then I want you to continue to go on and get the help. Whatever the need is, I want you to go on and get the help that you need. So what I want you to do is I want you to write down where you are today and where do you want to be this time next year. And sign your name by it. Now, I'm going to hold on to these. We're going to pray over these, okay? And we're very serious. But those that want to participate, I want you to tell me, where are you today? And where do you want to be this time next year? And sign your name by that. And then let's see, have we reached that goal? First and foremost, I pray that you will know the Lord Jesus as your Savior. And then secondly, I pray that you will have the patience or whatever it is that you need to get from one place to the next. If we need to and can assist, we will. That's right. We are here. And those are not just words. We have legs on those words. We put action to it. If we don't know how, we'll figure out how. Okay? We're not afraid of the challenge. So if you will share that with me right where you are today and where do you want to be in the next year. I'm going to let you do that because now I'm going to turn to my team. My team. Everybody in the front listening? My team, what areas can you grow 
in your journey with God and His direction that He has for Harvest Ministries in your life? What areas can you grow in your journey with God and with finding the direction that He has for you in your place here at Harvest Ministries? Is there a weakness that you need to overcome that may be keeping you from growing or keeping you from committing to more than just Monday nights? More times when you have a little bit of time. Sister CJ, you need some help. Brother Bernie, you need some help. Can I do? You know, I'm free this night. I'm free this weekend. What is something that you, my team, I want you to grow in God first. But I want to pray, what about your direction? Where, where, what gift do you want to utilize here at Harvest Ministries? Is there a weakness that you need to help have us to pray to help you to overcome? Is there more that you can commit to than just your couple of hours, and I know some of you are giving me Monday and Tuesday. I know that. But maybe somebody can do a little more. You never know until you ask. But I'm looking for God to give the increase. Now I'm going to turn to you viewers and those that watch these videos. And I want to say, what can you do to help Harvest Ministries in this coming year? How can you help us achieve our goals and Help us meet the needs that we have here in the ministry. Can you commit monthly? I want to challenge you, monthly. Is there something monthly that you, your church, whoever wants to get together and maybe <coughs> donate the needs that we have for that month? <coughs> maybe you want to make a monetary commitment to us. Everything helps. There is no gift too big, too small. Everything is needed. So let me ask you, the viewers, what can you commit to? Can you come alongside us and help us every month? We appreciate all that you have done and that you continue to do. But like I said, we're at our fundraiser stage. We're ready to get the funds that we can get our own property. It's time. It's now. And so we're just looking to you. We gladly take the items. No problem. If you're not comfortable with donating because we have needs. So, however, please connect with me through Facebook. However, if you know me personally and have my number, that's great too. See what you can do to help Harvest Ministries, you that view us every week and support us the way that you do. So we go back to, it doesn't matter who plants the seed and it doesn't matter who waters the seed because ultimately it's God that gives the increase. It's God that makes the abundance, that allows your contribution to become more than what it is. I, I heard a saying, little is much when God is in it. The woman that had the two mites that gave all that she had. And sometimes, you know, we give out of our abundance. We give because we have so much access, and that's great. But what about sometimes when it's in the need? When it's in the need? When I need this to pay this or to get this, but you see this need is far greater. God ultimately gives that increase. So I want to suggest and leave with you as we're closing, offer yourself to God. Offer yourself to God and see how and what you can commit to. He will show you when you offer yourself to the Lord, He will show you, then I want you to be willing. Ask God. Commit to Him. And then be willing, whatever He wants to share with you, to share with us. Because we're always in need, because we're always giving out. We don't stock it up and store it unless, of course, it's out of season. Like now i got to pack up the winter clothes to get the spring and summer clothes out. You know, that's the kind of story. But other than that, everything that is entrusted to us goes back. And I love it. I love that it's that way. And like I said, I might not be doing some good, but you got a need, you let us know. That is what we want to do for you. Amen. Until we can do better and we can provide more, we're doing all that we can. And we'll be glad to help in any way. All right. Are all the cards and pens back up here? 
all the cards and pens back up here. Some of my team that can come on up here, I'd like for you to come up here and we're going to pray over these cards that you've entrusted with us. We're going to pray over them. And however that we can be a blessing. And then see where we're at this time next year. You say, I might not even be here. Well, I might not either. But I got a goal. I got a goal. It's good to have a goal. Even better when you make it a matter of prayer. When you put it to a matter of prayer. And then I want to pray with you as we pray over these slips. Anybody available of my team? I know they're getting the food ready. Anybody else available? Right. <laughs> so we're gonna we're gonna do this. All right, they're getting the food ready. So we just want to ask the Lord for oh, Chrissy. <laughs> Will you help us to pray? Father, I thank you for this opportunity. Everyone that has participated, God, from my family, to my team, to the viewers. God, we're praying in Jesus' name. Lord, that God, that first and foremost, you are our everything. If souls need to be saved, God, that you will save them. And Father, whatever we need to commit ourselves to, whatever we need to overcome, whatever help that we need, Father, will you give us the wisdom and the guidance and the direction that we need in order to accomplish that, God. For your glory, for you, God, to bless it and give the increase. Father, we're planting. Oh, God, someone's going to come by and water. But God, you're going to give the increase. We believe it right now. You know our hearts. You know the needs. God, we've seen the, the things and the blessings that you gave us just in this year. And God, we're looking for more. We're praising you for it. We're claiming it right now and believing you, God. Whatever's wrote on these papers, Lord. Said two or three are gathered. We got three. And then we've got, a, we've got our congregation, Lord. God, that your witness, your spirit would be upon them, Lord. Fathers, we lift you up. We glorify you. We thank you. In Jesus' name. Amen. Father, I thank you for the folks that are here tonight. I thank you for my family. Like I told them, they only got to come one time, God, and then their family. We thank you, Jesus. We pray and ask you, God, to minister to our hearts. God, we thank you for the increase. We thank you, God, we're not where we were a year ago. We thank you, God, for all the blessings that you have gave us. And we pray, God, Harvest Ministry is bringing you the glory, God. That you are getting the glory and you are well pleased, Father. God, would you bless our hands and feet. Father, will you minister to my family? Does anybody desire special prayer tonight? I never want to just bypass that. It's so important. Do you desire a special one-on-one -on -one prayer? We will be glad to come right where you are and pray with you. I got one hand right here. Anybody else desiring special prayer? We'll be glad to come and pray with you right where you are. Right where you are. Hallelujah. Right where you are. Anybody else desiring special prayer? I'm not going to tear you very long. Jesus. 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 Father, you know our hearts tonight. I thank you, God, for the hand. I thank you, God, for the things that you're going to do in our heart and our life. May we just yield ourselves to you, God. God, that you can bless, that you can use, that you can be glorified out of our lives. Lord, we trust you, we love you, we thank you. And Father, as we transition now into our fellowship meal, God, we thank you for what you've blessed us with tonight. We thank you so much. You're going to sanctify it for the nurse of our bodies. Bless the hands that have made it. Bless the hands that's going to serve it. And bless those that are going to receive it tonight. Father, that we give all glory. We thank you, God, that you have others think about us. They don't have to, but they do. And we are grateful every week, God. We are so grateful. Father, we ask you to bless our time together as we praise you and we thank you for everything that you are going to do. Yes, we do. Yes, we do. Yes, we do. Hallelujah. Jesus. 
energia e exalas. Eu agora eu te dou. Eu agora eu te dou. Let your heart of Jesus, you know what she needs, Lord. You know what she needs, Lord. Hallelujah. 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 We thank you, Lord. We give you all the glory. May you be pleased. And in Jesus' name we pray. The church says with me, Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. All right, I believe they're ready to serve, so we're going to ask the ladies to go first, and then our gentlemen. So I'm grateful for you. If you've got any special requests or needs, please, I'm available. Or anybody from my team, Brother Bernie, we're always here, so please, don't hesitate to ask. Once everybody's gotten served, we will do our raffle tickets. So ladies first, we're going to do our raffle tickets. We've got $10 gift cards. Um, Little Caesars Pizza Pizza and McDonald's tonight will be the two gift cards that we're uh, raffling off to you with your blue tickets that you got. So we're very grateful for those. We like the variety that we get, so never know. Uh, and also, if you've got some special needs, please let myself or my team know. And again, we'll be here tomorrow, and if I have it, it will be here tomorrow, okay? So please don't hesitate. Whatever we can do to help, let us help you. Amen. Thank you so much for, for tuning in. I hope that was a blessing. Please share, uh, letting folks know that we're just ready to expand. We're ready for God to continue to give the increase uh, and just trying to provide more uh, in what we love to do. We just so enjoy and love. And I'm very grateful that God has called me into the ministry. So grateful for family and friends that support us like you do so please consider it and then share 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 our videos so folks know that we were at that place and we need help we can't do this by ourselves we haven't done this by ourselves and we are grateful for everything that everybody does so we pray it's a blessing <laughs> to you we're thankful for the family that came out tonight and uh we just hope that it's been a blessing to you so we'll see you next week lord willing